know the grace of our Lord Jesus, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you, through his poverty, might be rich. 2 Corinthians 8, 9. Maybe you've heard the story about my dad. He was uh, standing in a corner store just buying a loaf of bread. A woman came rushing in, cut right in front of him, uh, breathlessly said to the clerk, Am I too late? Too late for what? Too late to buy a lottery ticket for tonight's drawing. No, you're not too late. As they talked, the lady said, You know, I really wouldn't care if I ever won the lottery. I'd just like to meet a really rich person sometime. So my dad couldn't let that by. He tapped her on the shoulder. He said, Ma'am, I couldn't help overhearing what you said there. You'd like to meet a really rich person? Yeah. He said, Put her there. Well, she looked at him. He, he wasn't exactly dressed in Pucci and Gucci, you know. And so she, she kind of dubiously put out her hand to shake his, and she said, Are you really rich? He said, Ma'am, I've got so much, I don't even know how much I have. She said, Really? She said, How did you get it? He said, Well, I got it by inheritance. He said, Oh, that's the easy way, she said. And he said, Well, yeah, it was easy for me, but it wasn't easy for my father. And he began to tell her about the riches he had, and and her face fell. She, she wasn't interested. But, you know, the Lord Jesus makes it clear that what we call real estate isn't real at all. This is just all this stuff here is just held together by the word of his power. It's mostly nothing. And one of these days, he's going to say his word and kaboom, the whole thing's going to be gone. The real riches are the ones that are eternal, aren't they? God gave everything to his son in order to accomplish the purposes of God. And the scripture says, the Lord Jesus knew all things have been delivered into his hand. He left all that to the recipients of his testament. Without the death of the testator, you don't get in on the good of the testament. He died and he left us in his will. We are heirs of God. Everything that God has, we have. Not almost everything. Everything, right? He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings heavenlies in Christ. God can't think of a thing to give me that he hasn't given me in Christ. But then Christ rose from the dead and he went back to the Father and the Father was so delighted with the Son that he gave him everything again. He's given him all glory. He's given him all power. He's given him everything. The Lord Jesus says, I don't want all this for myself. I want to share this with my bride. And so through the death of Christ, we're heirs of God and through his resurrection, we are joint heirs with Christ. We have everything God has and everything Christ has and that ought to get you through a tough Monday afternoon, don't you think? We're so rich. And I remember my little grandmother. She never had much in this world. Glasses would be taped together, you know, and, and she, she scrubbed other people's floors and looked after other people's kids to get a little money. And she would pray this in her soft Scottish brogue. Lord, may these children always have enough to be generous. You know, we have enough to be generous. We can afford to give it away. Because as fast as we give it away, he gives it back to us, right?